Hello, everyone. Today, we'll discuss due diligence requirements in great depth in hopes of answering some of the questions many holders have in their statutory compliance efforts. Let's start with the basic question, what is due diligence? Due diligence is the reasonable effort deployed by a holder in their attempt to reestablish contact with the apparent owner of any presumptively unclaimed property. In this effort, the holder must reach out to the apparent owner of the property using the last known address per its books and records. Due diligence is required by law, but it's also good customer service and it's meant to keep customers. Due diligence requirements vary by state, therefore it is important that you reference the applicable state statute for guidance. Before you start the due diligence process, you must first confirm that the presumptive unclaimed property has either met or exceeded the state's prescribed dormancy period. As you may be aware, dormancy periods differ by state as well as by property type. Dormancy is the time that passes without owner-generated activity or written contact from the apparent owner. Intangible properties such as checks and bank accounts, as well as some tangible properties like safe deposit contents, become unclaimed after a specified period of inactivity and when reasonable efforts to reestablish contact with the owner are unsuccessful. There are certain activities that may reset the dormancy period and remove a property's dormant or unclaimed status. Communication with the apparent owner of an account or property, electronic financial transactions performed on the account by the apparent owner, or a contemporaneous documented communication with the apparent owner may reset the dormancy period. Not all communications are considered owner activity, including delivered mail, interest posted, or recurring automated transactions. To determine your population that you must perform due diligence, verify that the owner is not someone whom you can get in contact with. This is easier if they are a current employee or public figure and they have no confirmed activity or interest in the property. Once you have evaluated the presumptively unclaimed property population and assured the validity of its potential reporting eligibility, you can then move forward with next steps in the statutory due diligence process attempting to contact the owner. This is vital as it is in the best interest of retaining a pleasant customer relationship and it's the law. Due diligence requirements generally dictate that if property is higher than a certain dollar value, the holder must send a written notice to the apparent owner. All jurisdictions require this notice, but the threshold can vary by state. The owner must be allowed a certain amount of time to respond to the notice. It is common for most holders to have more than one state to which it must comply. Generally, as a practice, holders should verify the following due diligence requirements for the states. The statutory due diligence dollar thresholds for mailing written notice. The date that the written notices need to be sent. The form and content to be included in the written notices. And finally, if the state has a publication requirement, ensure that the appropriate information is provided to the newspaper. You should also be aware that different property types and industries have different due diligence requirements and check to see who completes the due diligence, whether it's the company, the state, or both. The contents of the letter should inform the owner about the property and how the property is going to become dormant and reported to the states. You should tell them how they can reclaim or reestablish the accounts, giving multiple contact points to reach out to. Some tips we recommend for due diligence communication is to make it easy to understand and the purpose is obvious and clear. The word S-cheat is not widely known and technically incorrect, so you may want to use the word abandon or unclaimed property. Also, clearly communicate that the owner has to take action. It may help to include the phrase, action needed or response required on the exterior of your due diligence notification. This concludes the due diligence portion of our training. Thank you.